Hey everybody, Dr. G here. I'm a licensed psychologist and a body language expert, and today we're going to be talking about the one thing you should never ever do. You ready? Let's get started. There's one piece of body language advice that almost every expert gets wrong, and I've seen it all over the internet. So many people online talk about how steepling, which is putting your fingers together like this, is an extreme sign of confidence, and it will make other people think that you are more confident. And while that's true for about one two or two percent of the population, the vast majority of people should not do this. Give me a second, and I'll explain why. So research has shown that expert witnesses, when they do this on the stand, are seen as more legitimate. People find them more believable. So obviously there are moments when people doing this shows them as a sign of authority. That being said, unless you are already established as an authority figure, unless you're a CEO, a politician, if you're on trial as an expert witness, something like that, doing this is going to be seen as pretentious and you're just going to annoy people. Do not do this to try to convince people that you know what you're talking about. I think it's a really, really bad idea. So if you go to a board meeting, or let's say you're at work and a CEO is there, and you want to tell them something very compelling, something that you really want to convince them is true, so you start doing this, you start talking about whatever it is that you want to convince them of, they're not going to look at you and go, yeah, okay, that person knows what they're talking about. They're going to think that you're arrogant, they're going to think you're rude, they won't even know why, but you're going to annoy them. This annoys people that are in higher positions of power. Don't do it. So even though there are certain circumstances where that can be seen as powerful, for the vast majority of people, it's just going to annoy everybody. So I highly recommend that you abandon that if that's something you do, or to avoid doing it if it's something that you've heard other people suggest. Anyway, if you enjoy this content, or you have your own experiences with body language that you'd like to talk about, please comment below. I love to do videos on anything that you guys would think is interesting. And if you have a second, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. All right, thanks.